morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about kindness during a time of anger, a rare and local treat you won't want to miss, and more. Today is Monday, July 11th, and this is the Morning Report. Protest demonstrations continued nationwide over police violence, and on Saturday, hundreds of protesters were arrested across the country and 21 police officers injured in St. Paul, Minnesota. Yet during this dark time, when many have become enraged by videos emerging of some police officers' actions, such as the Dallas shooting of police, there have also been an outpouring of support for the police, not only in Texas, but hundreds of miles away. Around the country, people have showed up at local police departments with flowers, sent messages of thanks, and even lined up for hugs. These kinds of gestures are welcomed by police officers during a tense time for law enforcement. Some of those interviewed said they want their police officers to know that they are loved, supported, and needed. Read more at NaplesHerald.com. A 19-year-old man was found dead following reports of a shooting early Sunday morning in Bonita Springs. He was found at the 10,000 block of Goodwin Street when deputies responded to a call of multiple shots heard in the area around 1.46 a.m. The man was identified by Lee County deputies as Jordan Valermo. Major crimes detectives are investigating the scene as a homicide, but the Lee Sheriff's Office said there is no threat to the community at large. Anyone with information about the crime is asked to contact the Lee County Sheriff's Office or remain anonymous by contacting the Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS. After efforts by conservationists, some rare and beautiful ghost orchids are expected to bloom this season at the Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary right here in Naples. South Florida is one of the very few locations the endangered super ghost orchid blooms. And since its discovery in the state in 2007, the haunting orchid has been a treasure to locals. The orchids became endangered because of careless poaching and over collecting. This bloom is a rare treat, so get your sneakers on and bring your binoculars to the corkscrew sanctuary. And that was the morning report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The morning report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.